integration is one of the best and worst things that happen to black people. Why? Is it great that we can try to work together as a society? Sure. But what does it matter if I change the laws, if I change the quote unquote business practices, but I don't change the hearts and minds of the people who are writing the laws and are running the businesses? What does it actually do? Here's what it did. We lost our independence. We lost our businesses. We lost a lot of our schools. We lost our teachers. We lost our specialists. Our neighborhoods began to crumble. Why? Not because we didn't have the capable people, but now these people who were once owners are now workers. And now what they're doing is being dictated by someone who doesn't care about them. Oh, yeah, you used to have this one community locked down, right? You're the black community. The black folks go to the black market, right? Not uh, not that black market, but you know what I mean, right? And, and that was great. But then once... We go, let's integrate, let's integrate. And you get bought out by the white market because they, or you start going to the white market because they got cheaper prices because they, they're, they're bigger. They then buy you out. And then guess what? You got to go use your skills that you, that you once used to own your own market to go work at his and be and be a laborer. And he going to cut your wages and jack up the prices. And I don't want to make this anti-white. Ooh, is that me <laughs> chasing white acceptance? <laughs> no, nah, it's not anti-white though. But the point is, there there just are some so many difficulties with being black. Uh, just, just imagine being educated at a school like pre- predominantly black teachers, black students, and oh my god, a black curriculum. And I'm not saying an all black curriculum, no, because you still need to learn history as it happened. But damn it, over there they ain't, we ain't learn history as it happened. <laughs> Can we be the good guy? Can we be more than just a slave and a? Oh, we shall overcome. That's how we are. We just slave in the history books. What are we? We just some. We just some slave. A couple of uh, 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 some 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 Harriet Tubman, some Jonah Truth. You know, some folks that escaped. Got some folks with them. A little, a little Frederick Douglass, and then we jumped to Martin Luther King. Ooh, let's give a little. Uh, 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 George Washington cough in there too. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. We had a George Washington cough in there too. Ain't gonna give us Black Wall Street. No, 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 no. They're not gonna give us that. They're not gonna show how gruesome slavery was. They're not gonna show us how gruesome the 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 Klan the was. They're not gonna show us how gruesome this stuff was. And now we can't talk critical race theory. Well, I mean, it's not really being taught. And honestly, it, it should probably be packaged better because it would be received better if it was packaged better, right? Uh, just so much that we don't know about ourselves. And now that we're finally learning it, we're being told, oh, no, you can't teach that. No, we're taking slavery out of schools. We're going to call it involuntary servitude. Servitude. What? what? We, we can't teach just because it's going to make some of the kids feel bad because their ancestors did. Well, you ever thought about how it made me feel sitting here listening to it? Now, I'm not trying to make the other kids feel bad. No, I mean, it's just history. And that's going to take me into a, a, a topic that we're going to talk about later with some of this senseless censorship. But, man.